Hi, I'm Max, and I'm an undergraduate researcher here at BML. Many sea slugs and sea snails reproduce by laying egg capsules on seagrass, rocks, and other surfaces in the intertidal zone. However, these embryos receive no parental care and are left to face the forces of nature by themselves. What dangerous predator lurks in these waters? Hi, my name is Sammy. I'm also an undergrad researcher here at Bodega Marine Lab, and here's the tea. Last summer, here in Bodega Bay, a carinated dove snail was found preying on the egg capsule of another sea snail. This is super exciting because this egg-eating behavior has never been observed before. And so for our project, we want to expand on this and see if the dove snail can eat the egg capsules of other intertidal sea snails and sea slugs, and whether they have a preference. For a bit of background, egg capsules are sacs of embryos enclosed by a membrane. Egg capsules vary in size, shape, thickness, and the number of embryos in each egg capsule, depending on the species. We chose to use the egg capsules of a periwinkle snail, the striped dog whelk snail, a bubble snail, and the shag rug sea slug because of how different they are. We also chose to use egg capsules from the dove snail itself to see if it's cannibalistic. To collect all of our animals, we went to a variety of locations. First, we searched the surf grass in Horseshoe Cove on the Bodega Marine Reserve. Dove snails like to hang out in the surf grass, which also happens to be where a lot of the periwinkle snail egg capsules are found. We also went to Tamales Bay, where we easily found a bunch of bubble snail egg capsules in the mudflats. And for our sea slug capsules, we collected a few individual shag rug sea slugs from Pinnacle Gulch and brought them back to the lab where they laid egg capsules. For our experimental setup, we had two parts. The first part was a pilot study where we put a dove snail and a egg capsule in little sauce containers just to see if the dove snail was capable of eating that egg capsule. From our pilot study, we discovered that the dove snail is able to eat all the different egg capsules we presented to it, except for the sea slug and bubble snail capsules. We also have evidence that the dove snail used its serrated tongue to drill holes in the striped dog whelk egg capsule. We originally thought that the dove snail wouldn't be able to eat this capsule because of its tough, plastic-like membrane. For the second half of our study, we gave a dove snail a buffet of egg capsules to see which one they preferred. The most exciting part of doing research to me would probably be the creative process behind designing an experiment. I found it really fun to read through the literature and hypothesize and talk with others to brainstorm ideas. I enjoy research because it allows me to study the rich biodiversity of the California coast while also discovering things that no one has ever seen before. I hope that years in the future, some other undergraduate research team will be able to build upon our findings. Conducting research is also super exciting because there's this feeling that I could be the first one to stumble upon something really cool or groundbreaking. That's why I think it's important to get outside and stay curious.